coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. FAA pulls Red Bull pilot's licenses. Spontaneous pilot lands C-208 in Florida. FAA diverts on eVTOL certification. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. FAA pulls Red Bull pilot's licenses. That incredibly foolish Red Bull skydive and switch planes in midair stunt that went so bad last month has resulted in both pilots slash skydivers losing their certificates. Luke Akins and Andy Farrington received nationwide attention for the poorly planned and executed stunt. The two Red Bull teammates had designed the first of its kind stunt in which would see them put a pair of modified Cessna 182s into a dive at 14,000 feet, disembark, and enter each other's aircraft. Unfortunately, the stunt was not able to be performed successfully in its entirety, with only Aikens making his transition. Farrington had to wave off, allowing the second aircraft to impact the ground as he parachuted to a safe landing. Two days prior to the crash, the FAA denied Aikens' request for a government waiver to execute the perilous stunt, and knew so even as they claimed to be in compliance with the FARs. The result is this, both of them have to surrender their tickets immediately and Aikens is facing an additional financial penalty in the form of a nearly $5,000 fine. We can't say that we're surprised. And after the break, Honor Flight nets 250,000 veteran. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyLeader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Honor Flight nets 250,000 veteran. Earlier this month, Honor Flight Network achieved a milestone since the history of its operation by flying its 250,000th veteran to our nation's capital in Washington, D.C. to visit the memorials and monuments dedicated to honoring their service and sacrifice. The network was formed in 2005 to transport our veterans, originally those from World War II, the Korean War, Vietnam War, and other operations, including, in special cases, veterans with terminal illness or injury, and later, the veterans from recent service engagements. U.S. Marine Corps has an aviation plan. In a 200-plus page document, the USMC Deputy Commandant for Aviation, Lt. Gen. Mark R. Wise, outlined what they deemed an aggressive plan to evolve the USMC's aviation division to play a key role in the force's future. The Force Design 2030 is a roadmap they hope will help them transition the USMC into, quote, a more agile expeditionary force, end quote. The doctrine serves as a foundation to describe the forward-looking desired capabilities and concepts that will continue to provide a warfighting advantage. United seeks green fuel from Neste. According to an agreement signed this week, Neste is expected to provide 50 million gallons of sustainable aviation fuel for United Airlines' flights originating from Amsterdam Schiphol Airport in the Netherlands. SAF is a low-carbon synthetic fuel that can, according to the National Business Aviation Association, safely power turbine engines. It is derived from, quote, feedstock cellulosic biomass, wastes and residues, waste steel mill gases, and captured CO2, end quote. Oshkosh to boast massive military presence for 2022. A long list of current military aircraft are among the early commitments to EAA Air Venture Oshkosh 2022, including many arriving to celebrate the 75th anniversary of the U.S. Air Force this year. 
Quote, displays and aerial performances of current military aircraft are always among the most popular parts of EAA AirVenture Oshkosh each year for aviation enthusiasts and the public, end quote, said Rick Larson, EAA's Vice President of Communities and Member Programs, who coordinates AirVenture features and attractions. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. Spontaneous pilot lands C-208 in Florida. An individual with allegedly no prior flying experience had a chance to live many a pilot's dream slash nightmare by landing a small airplane after the pilot became incapacitated. The Cessna 208 Caravan, a fixed-gear, single-engine turboprop airplane, was being operated by a single pilot from Marsh Harbor in the Bahamas to Fort Pierce, Florida, when one of the passengers noticed that the pilot was not responsive. The passenger managed to radio ATC, declaring they, quote, have no idea how to fly the airplane, end quote. ATC acknowledged the communication, then asked the spontaneous pilot, what's your location? ATC instructed the pilot to, quote, maintain wings level and just try to follow the coast, either north or southbound, end quote, while they tried to locate the aircraft on radar to better assist with determining the best airport with the longest runway possible for an emergency landing, all things considered. In a public posting the FAA dubbed Miracle in the Air, select pictures of the flying passenger with the ATC manager and the instructor who primarily guided them to safety. The flying passenger at one point mentioned that he was descending at 550 FPM, so he may have had some applicable knowledge, whether from a flight simulator or as an avid, informed enthusiast. Either way, it was a happy ending and a good save by the ATC team. And after these messages, FAA diverts on eVTOL certification. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. TL Sport Aircraft is changing the way you fly for sport, business, and adventure. We manufacture aircraft that bring a new level of excitement and safety to sport aviation. With five models to choose from, we have the right airframe to fit your mission. High wing or low wing, side by side or tandem seating, TL Sport Aircraft is redefining sport aviation. Explore what we have to offer and let us open your eyes to the possibilities at TLSportAircraft.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. FAA diverts on eVTOL certification. Recognizing the importance of keeping abreast of the technological developments in the industry, the FAA is reconsidering its approach to the certification of eVTOLs. On December 16, 2016, the FAA published the final rule representing an overhaul of airworthiness standards for GA airplanes, specifically in an attempt to enable faster adoption of, quote, innovative safety-enhancing technologies into small airplanes while reducing costs for the aviation industry, end quote. These new Part 23 standards were directed at less than or equal to 1919 airplanes, that's 19,000 pounds and 19 passengers, and integrating consensus-based compliance for designs and technologies. Also included were provisions for loss of control and in-flight icing conditions. eVTOL developers and manufacturers previously operated under a wing and a prayer in the hopes that their offerings would be certified under this new, since 2016, rule, particularly since it was developed in partnership with industry representatives at the table. Apparently, the new acting administrator of the FAA is engaging reverse thrusters and as such causes great consternation for industry hopefuls looking to make their Jetsons, puddle jumpers, and training aircraft a reality. It was hoped that this new framework translated into an agile aircraft certification process that is in step with innovation. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.